My name is Silvia Lanzalone. I am a composer and a researcher at Centro Ricerche Musicali in Rome, and I am a professor of electroacoustic composition at the Conservatory of Latina. The title of my paper is Composing with Feedback. The paper illustrates my compositional research aimed at the creation of a musical works distinguished by the integration of a computer, electronic and electroacoustic systems with instruments for the augmentation of a musical sound and gesture through the feedback phenomenon. In this short presentation I will mainly talk about my compositional work giving some examples. The research area dealing with augmented instruments has a strong point in the integration of electroacoustic and digital technologies to the mechanical structure of the modified acoustic instrument, in which the following converge. This is part of a research area that has only recently taken on relevance in musical thought, resulting in several interesting inventions and various musical pieces in some electronic music research and production centers. Specific studies on feedback have been carried out also by Centro Ricerche Musicali in Rome since the 1990s. Several prototypes of augmented instruments realized with electroacoustic and computer systems in which the feedback phenomenon is involved have been produced. Presso flute, augmented instrument designed by myself for the work Elegos, is a classical concert flute modified through the application of six miniature microphones inside the body of the instrument, a sensor, some control pedals, and an aluminum pipe for sound diffusion, acoustic feedback and resonance. A miniature microphone is applied internally to the instrument's it joint instead of the traditional cork and five other electric miniature microphones are placed on the body making holes in the pipe according to the position of a certain case. The body of the instrument also features a piezofilm sensor the aluminum pipe not only diffuses the sound of the flute, but also filters it to enhance frequencies corresponding to its normal modes. Feedback depends on resonant pipe features responsible for sound diffusion and on flute's position relative to the pipe. The algorithm consists of two banks of resonant filters tuned on the pitches of the instruments. The microphone signal is analyzed to extract amplitude and pitch envelopes, while the piezofilm sensor signal is analyzed to extract the amplitude peaks. Here are some performances of resoflute, and now we go to listen to the first performance. Feedback for two, my second piece with feedback, experiments the relationships between two voices and two feedback systems using two megaphones. 
The typical exponential shape of the megaphone is a characteristic of horn loudspeakers whose features makes it possible to achieve a high power output. I have chosen to use the megaphone as an instrument for musical performance to take advantage of its acoustic and ergonomic characteristics for the controlled management of feedback in the air. Technical adjustments to the megaphones were the exclusion of the original microphone, so I made the application of a professional miniature microphone with omnidirectional characteristics inserted directly into the horn and sound absorbing material placed into the horn. The first of the two feedback in each of the two systems used by two vocal performers takes place between the omnidirectional miniature microphone and the loudspeaker of the megaphone. The second feedback involves a second directional miniature headset microphone placed in front of each performer's mouth. A third feedback occurs between the one of the two microphones, the megaphone microphone or the performer's microphone, and one or more loudspeakers in a different way during the piece, according to the score. The speakers contribute to the activation of the feedback and have the function of spreading the sound in the hall, so the work is self-sufficient in terms of its diffusion in the listening space. Megaphones are also a very efficient acoustic source if pointed towards the audience by the two performers, as happens in some point of the work. The live electronics algorithm was implemented with MaxMSP and is composed of different processing stages of analysis, control and elaboration. The composition is based on the relationships between the two performers and the sound produced through the actions with the feedback systems. The performers must shape the sound of the feedback through their gestures on stage in terms of amplitude, intonation, length of the feedback, but also in terms of musical expression and theatrical action.